Now, maybe you've already answered this question, but I always like to ask uh, my guests, the first question is sort of what are your priorities? You've already gone through a series of things that are in your uh, purview, but uh, it, it almost seems overwhelming. So when I, when I think, how do you, what have you selected as the areas that are really top priorities? Well, you know, I think you're right. I mean, ruthless prioritization is necessary when we're overwhelmed by a number of things that we could be focusing on and are. But for me, when I look across what we, who we were at the beginning of the pandemic prior to me being in this role, and then who we've become as we're emerging from this acute phase of the response, um, it's important that we grow and that we account for the new capabilities that we built. And it's so interesting to me. ASPR was built with uh, supplemental dollars from its start, you know, reacting to acute need that came up. And then people forget about us and, you know, and, and, and we don't move those dollars to our annual budget. We continue just to live from supplemental to supplemental to supplemental, which is really not a functional way for us to grow the foundation of an organization that the country is relying on to the extent that we are being relied on now. So one of my biggest priorities when I think about take a step back and look at who we were and where we need to be so we can be stronger and provide the excellence the American people expect of us. Um, I need to be able to, to keep these capabilities so that we don't build them and then they go away and build them and then they go away and build them and then they go away with whatever you know exciting thing is happening out there in the world, but that we actually are funded to do our work day in and day out so we can be prepared moving forward at the minute um, an incident happens. So priority number one is trying to maintain the capabilities that we always needed, but we're finally able to build because of the COVID supplemental, but we'll need to move to our annual appropriations in order to maintain. And I've been, uh, it had several opportunities, of course, to uh, to testify before Congress recently, and have talked a lot about how important that is. And one of those capabilities is the supply chain work uh, that I mentioned, you know, these investments in domestic manufacturing, those are multi-year investments. Everybody understands that you can't just plop money down on a construction site and go away and expect that it'll be generating gloves, you know, in six months, you have to nurture those investments. So we need the continued authority and funding to be able to do that. The other thing that's important to me is that I build, you know, not only the, and maintain these capabilities that we've always needed and now we have, and I'd like to be able to use them against future incidents, but that I also build a foundation that's strong for ASPR. You know, it's one thing to ask to become an operating division. It's another thing to fully transition into that in a way that supports our teams, in a way that supports our programs, in a way that makes sure the American people get what they need moving forward. And so we've laid out a very uh, prescriptive approach over the next couple of years to build out this human capital so we can surge up and surge down as quickly as we need to. We can build out an acquisitions workforce so we can do this contracting in order to get prototype vaccines and therapeutics, those things we needed so quickly early in the pandemic that we can do that as quickly as we need to moving forward. So I'm continuing to focus on the foundation of ASPR, not just to ask for the, you know, the splashy next step things, but to actually make sure that if I receive those, which I've been uh, pleased to, that I can build it out in a way that, you know, it, the country deserves, that our teams deserve, so they can be supported moving forward. 